Well, Wall Street reform is the topic of discussion today as well at a conference hosted by the law firm Laviton and Sushiro in Midtown Manhattan. Frank Partnoy is a law professor at the University of San Diego and the author of The Match King, Ivar Kreuger, the financial genius behind a century of Wall Street scandals. He's a panelist at today's conference and he's joining us now live. Frank, welcome to the show. Uh, you just heard Peter Thanks talking so about some of the measures that the G20 is going to try to enact in, in terms of financial regulation. Do you think that they will make a, a really substantive difference in terms of preventing more financial crises? I'm not sure we should expect too much from these reforms. And in fact, the topic here today, the hot topic, has been credit rating agencies, something that's not likely to be addressed in any meaningful way. Here, what a lot of people are talking about is the need to reform that industry. And that's something that's been quite controversial, but hasn't um, attracted as much attention as maybe it should have. Well, let's talk about that issue then, because even if it's not an issue at the G20, it's an issue before Congress. It's an issue before other panels that are trying to address the regulation of credit rating agencies. So what exactly do you think needs to be done to perhaps reduce uh, various firms, insurance firms, for example, reliance on the rating agencies? Well, there are really two areas of reform. One is oversight and the other is accountability. The oversight function has gotten some play in Congress where there are many people who believe the credit rating agencies and their processes need to be subject to much more intense scrutiny. We know now that they've gotten it wrong consistently over the last decade or so, starting really back at Orange County, which they rated AAA just before its bankruptcy, Enron, investment grade just before its bankruptcy, Bear Stearns, Lehman, AIG, very high ratings and thousands of structured finance ratings, all very high just before collapse. And so oversight is going to be a big piece of it, but maybe a more important piece is accountability to really hold the agency's feet to the fire when they get it wrong. Over the last several years, they've been largely immune from lawsuits. And this is a conference talking about potential exposure to litigation. And some of that's already starting to change. And I think a lot more of it will change in Congress as people are now seeing the need to hold rating agencies accountable when they commit fraud or when they make um, mistakes when they should have known. Frank, um, as I'm sure you're aware, a new whistleblower has come forward from Moody's, Eric Kolchinsky, who was set to testify this week. That's been uh, postponed to next week. But uh, given his allegations that Moody's continues um, to really offer ratings that are not warranted and not justified, do you think it's really even possible uh, to have effective oversight of the ratings agencies? Do you think they can reform? It's going to be difficult, and it, it will be a long road, but I think it is possible. I think that people can move away from relying on the agencies, and I think that kind of competitive pressure will force the agencies to respond. They've had a free lunch for a long time because so many regulators rely on ratings and basically force investors to look to the rating agencies. In fact, even the federal government itself, through many of its programs, has looked to the rating agencies, and so they've had an easy road. They've made huge profit margins from this sort of government uh, subsidization of their oligarchy. And I think that's likely to change going forward. And if it does, that'll put some competitive pressure on them so that they're subject to the same kinds of market forces that people in other industries are subject to. And in terms of oversight, what do you think is going to be most effective? You know, folks have talked about the Fed as a potential super regulator, so to speak, of, of many different industries. Um, or do you think another body would be a more effective regulator? I think probably some kind of new independent, uh, separately funded body would be more helpful. I think the key is that it be uh, standing on its own feet, that it not be subject to political influence or by lobbying pressure from the rating agencies. They've proven one thing over the last decade, and that's that they're extremely effective lobbyists. Those folks are awfully good at their jobs. And the accountability piece and the oversight piece, I think, need to be drafted with that in mind so that the organization, wherever it is, wherever it fits within the United States government, is as impervious as it can possibly be to lobbying efforts. You'll never get a perfect solution, right. but um, to insulate them the best they possibly can. Okay. Frank, thank you very much for joining us. Frank Partnoy, Port, Partnoy excuse me, is a law professor at the University of San Diego, and we'll be continuing to track this regulation issue.